Hey there, my name is Daniel Corelli, and in this video, I'd just like to share with you a few things I've learned here at Vancouver College, besides integrals, the functions of enzymes, Canadian history, that sort of thing. I'm going to ask for your participation. If you would, picture the Vancouver College courtyard. If you've never been, it's a large area with a Canadian flag in the middle, surrounded by the two buildings that make up our school. Now picture this space absolutely empty. Make the time about 7.30, a chilly September morning. Gentlemen who are watching this video, especially you, pretend you're the only person from your elementary school who has chosen to attend this new high school. You know no one, and no one knows you. I have only one question. Are you scared? If your answer to that question is no, then you're a braver man than I, because I was. That morning, I bust early from North Vancouver, my home, and my mom had set me up on the bus, given me a kiss, and strapped my backpack to my belt with a bungee cord so I wouldn't lose it. I looked way up at the wall, at the Irish insignia that dominated that wall, and I felt tiny. I was alone in a strange place. I had no one to talk to, nothing to do. I didn't know where to go. Finally, I gathered up the courage to enter the building, and I instantly fell in love with the school. I was greeted at once by no fewer than five students who were asking me my name, how old I was, could I help them with their math homework when we finally caught some. I was accepted without question and without struggle and I instantly became a part of this faith and learning community. There are two bonds we all share here at VC. We're all boys, and we learn in a Catholic environment. Vancouver College strongly believes in that well-known saying, oh, boys will be boys. Yeah, indeed they will. And here, they will be the best boys that they could possibly be. We can't let girls take leadership because there aren't any. We can't allow girls to set the academic standard because there aren't any. And we don't have to worry about what girls think of our antics because, you guessed it, there aren't any. It's boys and young men that drive this school in a positive direction year after year. And all our endeavors are always backed by our faith in God. I often try and picture myself back in the courtyard where I began my time here, but I find it impossible to picture it empty anymore. There's always a teacher inquiring about my extracurricular activities, a group of boys playing sports, or engaging in a lively debate, or one of my friends breathlessly asking me, what was the assigned homework for religion class? I have been able to cut the proverbial string that linked me to fear of the unknown just as I was able to sniff that bungee cord that connected me to my backpack. As expected, I have been challenged academically by my teachers and my peers, but I've also had numerous other opportunities to be involved in this faith and learning community, from sports, to drama, to community outreach, to involvement in intramurals and clubs. I've enjoyed it all. Now, I'm a quirky guy, but no matter what arena I found myself in, I always felt welcome, accepted. After all, our motto here at Vancouver College is Semper Fidelis, which translates in English to forever faithful. And at VC, we are faithful. We are boys, we are Irish, we are accepted, and we're at home, away from home. That is what VC means to me. And I hope that many of you young gentlemen out there get to experience what I have at my five years at this school. If you choose to apply yourself here at this faith and learning community at Vancouver College, I promise you will leave here a better man.